Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm delighted to be joined by Mike Palmer, CEO at Sigma Computing. Mike, always a pleasure to sit down with you. And a pleasure to be here again. Mike, it's been a busy year for Team Sigma. You are coming off your Series D funding. How has this directly affected the scale with which Sigma is able to operate? Well, actually, the fact that we're sitting here in London is an indicator of that scale. Uh, you know, build software companies, it's about having the best product. Once you have the best product, it's about awareness, it's about uh, getting feet on the street. So we've expanded actually quite a bit here in London. Uh, we've established our first office. We're selling in uh, throughout Europe at this point, so we're super excited with Snowflake's help, both in the round and obviously afterwards, to, uh, to really grow the team and get the word out. Great to hear, Mike. Sticking with current events, Sigma recently held their launch event this past September. What updates did you announce and what impact will this have on the AI data cloud ecosystem collectively? So hopefully your viewers will already know us around BI and spreadsheets. You know, we were the first to bring together, I think, those two practices, if you will. What we announced though in September and we're continuing to build is how do we pull AI into that? And there were two major areas that we focused on. One of them uh, is actually pulling from Cortex and making Cortex a truly consumable service for the average person, which means uh, how do I take Cortex and understand A, my structured data, how do I build pipelining, how do I build forecasting, how do I understand, in many cases, the unstructured data that I've got. So we did a bunch of integrations for that. And then related to that, build data applications. So the big new area for Sigma is not just the ability to look at large sets of historical data or build those forecasts and spreadsheets, but build workflows. And so we have some of the biggest companies in the world uh, building workflows that range from emissions reporting to banking solutions to HRIS. And I think what that means for Snowflake and Sigma is that we're making both our products a primary data source. We're making our platforms the only place where interface is happening for end users, as opposed to only just the ETL, ETL side and the analytics side. Great to hear, having a positive impact on that collective ecosystem, Mike. As you indicated, we're in London at Snowflake's World Tour. What's your primary focus today and why was it so pivotal to show up big? So, you know, again, when you're doing a, a new territory, you know, it's certainly about awareness. And I think these are some of the best events to have awareness. People know Snowflake well. Uh, they are somewhere hopefully deep into their deployment cycles. And mentally, they're ready to understand it's not just about a data infrastructure transition, it's about people. Uh, and this is where Sigma shines, is making Snowflake relevant to all the departmental users uh, at an enterprise, making it relevant to enterprises to work with each other more effectively. So we really want to get that kind of word out, which is Snowflake is for everybody, that data is for everybody, and that there are some novel uh, abilities that we're bringing in, in business to business interactions as well. So if we succeed on that level, it would have been a, a success overall. Great to hear, Mike. We've had the opportunity to sit down a couple of times. Now I want to get a little personal with you. We all know that in this increasing competitive landscape, success comes back to the collective teamwork. Can you share some of your leadership philosophies and how you are growing the Sigma team around you to set the business up for long-term success? That's a great question. It's a tough question. <laughs> so uh, I don't mean to put you on the spot, Mike. Uh, well, <laughs> I think number one, uh, we believe in velocity. So to the extent that we organize everything that we can around going faster uh, constantly, which is a more difficult task as you grow a business to go faster because you have more people to coordinate, you have more features to manage. But for us, velocity is king. Uh, beyond that, collaboration is king. And for us, what that means is showing up in the office. We were doing that right out of the pandemic when it wasn't super popular, uh, but I think we've reaped the benefits. People who uh, sit in proximity to each other, who have more informal conversations, learn more from each other, they ramp faster, uh, we can react faster. So we're all about velocity and, and all the underpinnings that drive it. Great to hear, Mike. Before we wrap here, what's next for Sigma? Uh, Sigma is A, gonna continue to grow globally. Uh, B, we are very, very focused on some of uh, Snowflake's biggest verticals, in particular financial services, supply chain companies. And then I'd be remiss without talking further about AI because you know, for, for both of us, it's not about the underpinning technology, it's about the usability. And I think people take for granted that AI is usable just because, you know, in theory, you know, we can just throw language at it. But I think in practice, it's actually quite difficult. Getting questions right is difficult. The AI's accuracy is difficult. And then putting that capability in the right place at the right time so someone can consume it is also difficult. Uh, so we're gonna just keep working on those problems and hopefully uh, grow together. Mike, such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Thank you for having me.
And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.